<laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm ready for my week away. Yeah. Get in, bitches. We're going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> you are really going out for a night, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, how much have you got? Wow. Bitches got a pair. See me, hopefully you can see him. Yeah. And you can definitely see her. Yeah. Backlit beautifully by the orange sunlight, of course. We are on our way to uh, Birmingham. Bristol. Bristol. <laughs> One of the three, surprise. <laughs> we are going up to Birmingham to go to Printwear and Promotion to have a look at some uh, new clothes, new machines, uh, and everything. So. Basically, don't expect a load of money on a kit we don't really need. That's not what's going to happen. I can't put any of this in this vlog. I just went, like, where's my hand now? Is this cheap or are you Uh, no, I think that's everything. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. It's not vegetarian. It's <laughs> water. Salt earplugs. Um, yeah, we've got any. They're just around the corner. Right, okay. What? <laughs> She's a terrible snorer. She's unreal. Two ninety nine, please. We love food. Yeah! And I got an Eevee! Let's carry on. Oh god, thank god that's over. Jesus <laughs> Christ, I can't deal with Jack anymore. Hey, we're recorded. Can you go home now, I'm, I'm aware. Aware. <laughs> Thanks for the company, champ. We'll leave you here and go for an explore tomorrow. Ooh, we finally arrived. Let's go have some food and a beer. Yeah, I need more than a beer. Where are we? Ibis Styles Hotel. Oh. It's just so stylish. Just outside the NEC. So we're going to go in now. And, uh, oh God. With our matching bags. We've got some Ritz matching bags. We're going to have a beer, have some food, and go to bed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does Wiggles have any special needs we should be aware of in case of emergency? It's ginger. <laughs> There is literally one bag. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean now? Get out! Oh, yes, so yes, it's smart. Are we going here? Yeah. Are yeah. we actually? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we are here. Open it then. Open the door, you swear. Go watch my back! <laughs> We've made bunk beds. <laughs> Brendan! Oh, I'm is that power tools? <laughs> Down the It's <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> warm! <laughs> so, you know, aerobics in here. I've been very fortunate to be in the company of welcoming people and you don't meet people like that every day. I mean that. Thank you. Cheers. No, cheers. We've only got drinks left. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. 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 I got Thank you. Oh, look, our barge parked on this morning is north two, three, and four. Where are you? North two, three, and four. All oh, right. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What a legend. <laughs> So far we've spoken to Screen Print World. Adam, thanks for that mate, good luck to you. Uh, what else have we done? We've seen some patches. We've seen some bags, recycled bags, recycled bags. Heading to the Rallaway stand now to see uh, another few little new bits from them this year. So much to take in. Oh guys, why so blue? <laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of your better jokes. <laughs> I'm videoing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking, pal? Little bit of the bubbly. Little bit of the bubbly. That's incredible. Ooh. So we just had a subway. So we're going to head back in and go and see the guys and guests. And ask hello. <laughs> Oh. I'm here with Dave Roper, Screen Print World. Advice to anybody starting out. Advice to anybody starting out. Uh, go for the best piece of equipment you can afford, yeah. even if it's used. Yeah. Okay. Don't go and buy uh, cheap Chinese equipment on eBay because, generally speaking, it <laughs> tends to fail. Yeah. It's still stuck with the same exposure unit. I know, mate. I know. It tends it tends to fail. That's the, that's the problem, and you tend to think it's yourself. 
yeah. and by training. Yeah. By somebody who's got the know-how yeah. and can actually get you set on the right path. Yeah. Do you know the print print house in Cardiff? Yes. So I took my exposure unit there all the way from Tommy up there and sat with Tom, I think it was. Yeah, and Tom. Good guy. And uh, he was like, you're doing nothing wrong, mm -hmm. let's change the bulbs. Yeah. Two months I was trying to burn screens for, and he said, let's change the bulbs. And I exposed the screen like that. That's See, somebody you know. Tom's yeah. been in the industry for 10 years, and Rob yeah. there as well, been printing for 50, 15 years. Yeah. So somebody you knows. And it's yeah. just a process of elimination. You ever have a problem, just eliminate it back what it can be. Yeah. And then finally you'll get to it. Yeah. Well. Anything else? Any, any more advice? Um, enjoy it. I do enjoy it's it. It's not serious. I know. It's hard now because I've, I've got wiggles on board. And uh, now I don't print as much. Right. And that's so you've lost hard. the ink. I've lost, you've I've lost, lost the, feel. the feel for it. You've lost the feel. I know. Get the hunger back. I know. Get the guns going. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I really miss it. Yeah. Um, it's something that's a very tactile approach in the day of digital now. Anybody can go literally just about press to say, the button yeah. and you get a beautiful digital print. Yeah. Here's one I prepared earlier. Ironically, you haven't seen this because I was just holding it and showing it to a customer. It's a beautiful digital print. Oh. That is yeah. clinical. It's taking the scale completely out of it. And that's printed on a MR hybrid system. So it's screen print base. Yeah. Screen print base down, flash it, and then it's digital on top. Yeah. And that's done on the DS4000. Is it a digital head? Yeah. Right, okay. That so makes sense. It's a digital sense. head that sits in the machine. Okay. But a lot of people are looking for digital production. Yeah. They don't want one offs, they want to do four, five, six hundred pieces. Yeah. And then it's hard to do that on the smaller machines. Yeah. They only do 10, 15 an hour. Yeah. So they want that volume. 80% of the cost is in it's in the uh, white ink and on the pre-treatment. So if you eliminate that by putting down the screen from white, flash it, yeah. and then put the digital on top, it's a win-win. So you're combining as a hybrid. Exactly. Combining them both. Garlic bread. Future. <laughs> <laughs> Another question is, we've been plastic all for like two and a half years, coming up three now, and I would like to go water based purely Absolutely. for environmental reasons, and everybody's trying to do their bit and the clean down and just chemical wise. Yeah. I know I've spoken to you about this before on the phone and it's always a case of get some water based and try it. Yeah, absolutely. Get hold of your ink when you're going to print your ink. Yeah. The first thing to worry about is obviously make sure it's cured properly. Yeah. So usually it's two or three passes in the dryer. That's right. Because you're trying say. to drive out the water base, you're trying to drive out the water to leave behind the dye. Yeah. So I've got the little buddy too. Yep. It's not forced there, but we'd have to slow our belt right down. Slow your belt down, put it through twice. But if we're doing a run of say 100 shares, what you could do is put a cold cure catalyst in the ink, right? Put it through once so it touch dries, and then that will naturally cure after 48 hours. It's genius. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, I've, I've not looked into catalysts or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, catalysts We've... you can put into the ink, and sometimes you don't even have to use the dryer. You yeah. can just stack them out somewhere, yeah. put them around the print shop, they'll dry overnight, you stack them up, and then after 48 hours, hours are cured. It's yeah. really good on heat sensitive fabrics. Right, okay. Yeah. So, um, like that. Jacket that we did for me. We yes. Did for the dryer. Yeah. So we did a coach jacket style yep. thing. Yep. Obviously printed. We just absolutely winged it. We always do. Put it down. Print plastic all white on it. Chuck it in the dryer, and then like the sh it starts to shrink. So we yep. sped the belt up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if you've washed that yet. No. 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 But, um, I mean, water-based water -based print is very easy. It's actually easier to print by hand than plastic yeah. So physically, it's easy. You just have to be careful when you flood the screen, a nice heavy flood to leave it thick on the screen. Thick, so it doesn't start drying. Exactly, the mesh, it doesn't yeah. dry in the fine mesh. Uh, these are actually water-based. The Amex water-based ink. Yeah. I printed. I thought that'd be more of a soft hand feel. Yeah, it's because it's been print, flash, print. Right. So okay. when you do print, flash, print, you put yeah. layers of ink on. Yeah. But, the, but we put it through a li that, that little buddy and yeah. we, we put it through twice yeah. and it's pure the treat. So it's just yeah, a case see, of trying it. You so know, that, that's, it's the production time for me. So we yeah. obviously want to change to it for environmental reasons. But then if we are doing like, we've got a 400 piece order coming out now with just straight black ink yeah. on white dark colour garments. So it's going to be really easy it's to do. Easy one to do, yeah. yeah. So I would like to do water based ink for it. Go for it. Stop <laughs> in it. <laughs> The only thing you can do is try it. I mean, always wash test. Wash test, yeah. So try one immediately. Yeah. So as soon as you print one, put it through the dryer, 
put it on, uh, you can do it onto a scrap shirt or second shirt you've got. Take it out, stick it in the washing machine. Yeah. Just make sure it's okay. And what's, and the cure, what's the cure time? 160 for degrees. You want to be, it wants to be about two minutes if possible. That's why you have to put it through twice almost immediately. So don't let it go cool. Pop it through the dryer, bring it back up, pop it through again. Right. Particularly on these small dryers. When you say 160, do you yeah. mean like 160 hitting at the end? Or 160, 160 hitting on the garment. Like just spray yeah. it. And you can get a little uh, yeah, yeah, put the little laser temperature. Little laser temperature, yeah. put it through a donut probe's best, but yeah. or even the heat strips. Yeah. Just make sure you get okay. to that temperature. Always that temperature. As long as it hits that temperature. As long as it's that's more of a plus side. If it hits that temperature, it'll fuse and it fuses with the surface. Okay. But so it has to stay at that temperature for two minutes. So many questions. So many questions. <laughs> so many questions. <laughs> so many questions. I, I haven't had a chance to ever pick your brains about stuff like this. I think the yeah, first away, mate. first year I came, I was completely new to this whole thing. And now I've kind of built up a bit of a well of information. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, there's just many, many different ways to do things. Yeah. And it's just don't just stick to plus as well. Water base is good, hybrid inks are good, discharge inks are really good as well. Yeah. It's super soft feel. Yeah. But well, obviously limited life. Yeah. But the catalyst in, the, in we sell a lot of the catalyst that goes into the water base inks because people I had somebody here who wanted to print on a jute bag, you know, the, the yep. heavy woven jute yeah, bag. Yeah. Couldn't put it through a dryer because it would shrink. Yeah. So he's got a hundred to do and he said he's gonna put the catalyst in, mixed it up, called me today, said he printed a treat. Amazing. So happy days. That's really good. Cool. I think that's all the questions. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, you just asked him everything I wanted to know. <laughs> it's just the, uh, about water based and plastic all and Yeah. And it's clean up, you know, you clean it, you clean up with a water basing, you use a sponge, yeah. give it a bit of water, clean it up both yeah. ways. But the, of course the thing is, is whenever you stop or if you take a call, yeah. you will have to clean up. Whereas plaster soil you can leave the screen open. Yeah. But yeah. Generally speaking, that's what you've got to do. Yeah. Cool, I think that's it. Thank you. You're welcome, really appreciate welcome. that. No problem at all. Dave Roper. Cheers, thank you. We're done. We're so tired. <laughs> so much to see. And now we've got to walk all the way back to the car. Ah. Or we wait for a bus. Is a bus. I am not running. That's north. I am not running on camera. I'm not running. I'm not running. <laughs> <laughs> Don't suck. I'm just straight up not running. Oh, man. That was a good day though. Should we get a Mackey's? Get a Mackey's now. Vegan Mackey's. Uh, get KFC then, chap. We'll get KFC so you can get a KFC vegan. 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 <laughs> vegan. Brit's vegan, by the way. Is she? Is she? <laughs> it's, it's, it is Jan. We should put a t-shirt. Ask me if I'm vegan, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you got? <laughs>